Joining us now, former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee and Harvard Law Professor Alan Dershowitz. Professor Dershowitz, I'm sorry, no other way to put it, but to me, this is a very clear... If you have any sense of, of a moral compass or moral clarity, there's no ambiguity here, Professor. This is repulsive, virulent anti-Semitism. It is being allowed in the halls of Congress, on college universities, and Joe Biden is pressuring the victim of terrorism that they lay down their arms, not standing with Israel against the radicals that want to destroy them. I completely agree with you, 100 percent. It was absolutely outrageous for President Biden to create a moral equivalent, the same kind of moral equivalence he complained about in Charlottesville, between anti-Semitic protests, which he condemns, and then he says, I also condemn those who don't understand what's going on with the Palestinians. What an outrageous moral comparison. Nobody could in any way support what Hamas did, yet these kids are yelling, I am Hamas. We want to repeat the rapes over and over again a thousand times, and he's equating that morally with people who reasonably believe that what's happening to the Palestinians is largely the fault of Hamas. It's absolutely outrageous, which is why I wrote a column today arguing that what is happening on college campuses today may be worse than what happened on January 6th, may be worse than what happened in Charlottesville, and we are not concerned nearly as much about it as we were about January 6th. January 6th involved a relatively small number of people, low thousands. They aren't people who are going to be our future leaders. Charlottesville didn't involve our future leaders. What's going on on college campuses today, we are Hamas, means our future leaders, the people who will be in the editorial rooms of The New York Times, on CNN, in Goldman Sachs, in law firms, running for Congress. That's why it's more dangerous what's going on today. And thank you, Bob Kraft, for cutting off all your aid to Columbia. I've done the same. I don't have your money. With Harvard, with Yale, nobody should contribute to these Ivy League cesspools, which have become incubators for the worst form of anti-Jewish racism that I've known in my 85 years of life. This is a scary time. Yes, it is in some ways like 1933 in Germany, but in other ways it's not, because the Jews have Israel to defend it. And as long as the Jews have Israel and Israel has weapons, including nuclear weapons, we won't see a repeat of 1941 and 1942. But we will see a repeat of 1933 and 34, where college students at the University of Munich and at the University of Berlin brought Hitler to power, brought Pol Pot to power, brought Castro to power. Young 23-year-olds can be among the most evil and dangerous people in the world, and we're seeing it happening at Columbia and NYU and Yale today. Shame on the presidents who have facilitated and allowed this kind of bigotry to occur in our universities. Let me go to you, Mike Huckabee, uh, the protesters. We are Hamas. Long live Hamas. And by the way, this is not an attack on Islam. This is an attack on radical Islamists. We make a distinction on this program. Uh, literally screaming, Jews, Jews, go back to Poland. Wow. Did you ever think, Mike Huckabee, we'd be reporting this and talking about this in our lifetime? Because I didn't. No, I prayed to God we never would. And I hope that a lot of people can start understanding there's a difference between educated people and smart people. A lot of these college kids are educated, but they're not real smart. They don't have a clue about what the Jews have gone through. They don't have a clue about Israel. They don't have a clue about what happened October 7th and the outright butchering of women and the violent rape in front of their own families. You know, one of the horrors and of the murder. Holocaust was that a whole yeah. lot of other people looked the other way and pretended it wasn't going on. There were only a handful of Christians like Dietrich Bonhoeffer who ended up being a martyr yeah. for standing against the Nazis. But I hope in this particular situation that every Christian will stand with our Jewish friends yes. and we will say yes. with them, never again. This should never happen and it shouldn't be led on college campuses. You know, there's no consequence for this ridiculous behavior of these uh, college students and the faculty, and that's part of the problem. Sean, I'm in Little Rock, Arkansas, 
And in 1957, at Central High School, nine black students were told they couldn't go into the school. And it was President Eisenhower who federalized the National Guard and sent the 101st Airborne in and said, yes, you will go to school, and stood against the mobs. Right. Why won't Joe Biden show some leadership and stand against the mobs? Right. Yeah. I stand with you, Governor, he wants by their the way. Vote. You said That's something. why he wants their vote in Michigan. He wants their vote. But I, uh, because Governor he wants Huckabee, their vote in Michigan. But At what price, Professor? And I'll say this. Governor Huckabee, you're right. Every Christian, and I am a Christian, uh, should be standing in solidarity with Israel at this time. And I'll add one th other thing. And America, every American should be standing with them because this is right. their 9-11. And based on population, it was a greater percentage of the po their population was murdered on October 7th. Uh, thank you both. Professor, thank mm -hmm. you.